Hi everybody, my name is Cory and welcome to my hobby desk. In this video I'm going to do a little review on some miniatures that I recent, recently purchased and they have just arrived yesterday in my mail and I couldn't be more excited about it. I'm talking about a company called Brother Vini and I believe they are from Russia and I know what you're thinking about, well, are you stupid? You don't know where they come from? Well, technically yes, but actually no, and I'm going to explain you why a little bit later. But let's keep going. So, Brothers Vini, they have quite a big range of miniatures, and they are all for different genre of tabletop wargaming. Uh, they have a sci-fi line, a fantasy line, and also an historical line, and most of them are in 28 millimeters, but not all of them. Some of them are also in 35 millimeters, and I believe there is also a figure there that is in 90 millimeters, so it's quite a big figure. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the 28 millimeter scale, particularly their female model, because they have very, very good models of female soldiers. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So they have arrived in this little boxes here, and I have purchased like, uh, I think 20 models from them. And in every boxes, when you open it up, you find the models, and they are in this little plastic baggies. You will see here. All the models are in resin. This is a, a multi-part resin kit from the their female brigade range, which are all female soldiers. And I purchased this figure in particular because I'm working on a Imperial Guard army. And since the Imperial Guard don't have a lot of female model in their faction yet, because of course I, I know that Game Workshop is going to do something about it in the future, uh, in the meantime I decided to buy some of these miniatures that we have here, and because when I found them I was quite impressed by the sculpt, uh, because the sculpt were very very nice detail and I couldn't wait to put my hands on them, and you will see here with me what I'm talking about. So these are all, most of them are from the female brigade range, but some of this figure are from their action girl uh, range miniatures. And as I said before, this is all resin. This, for example, we have a medic, a female medic. And I have a, I'm building a Cadian army, so I think they are going to fit quite well. And, well, you'll see that even though it is resin, the sculpts are well done. Very, very well done. All the details and the poses, they are all great, all fantastic. For example, okay, this one is from the Action Girl range of miniatures and it is a commissar. I think the name of this commissar is Veronica, I think. And, well, the pose is great, all the parts are great, and you see the all the details. Unfortunately, unfortunately, in the camera you won't see a lot of details than in real life, I know that. But, as you can see, the details are awesome. I love the hair, the face's expression, this little hole here, I think it is for the... Yeah, it is for the sword. So also you have this little hole and pegs that you can build the, the resin kit without a lot of problem. And also, you, you might notice that even if this is resin, the sword is not very bendy. I'm not finding any problem with this. I mean... You know what I'm talking about, if you ever work with resin, you'll know that resin is a pretty shitty material. Really shitty material. <laughs> because that's what it is, resin is really bad. And casting resin, if not done properly, will, will lead you to have a lot of imperfection, a lot of bendy parts, even this rifle, see how straight it is. And um, a lot of bendy part, a lot of problem here and there. You also a lot of gap you have to fill with some green stuff or putty in general. But 
from what I'm seeing here, I've not seen any problem at all. I mean, there isn't a single model here that need to be re-sculpted in any part of it. And also you can see that they are all different. You can basically tell the difference between every single one model from the other. Well, of course, these these are all single models. You, you can't buy them all in stock. These are all single models, sell separately. This is the their, the specialist, which I'm going to use as a kind of a vox caster. This is a rifle. Every model here has its own style, even this one here. These are a group of five female soldiers from their female brigade line. These five girls cost me 20 euros, which is quite expensive, I know, for just five models, but bear in mind that Game Workshop sell us, for example, Severin Rain is a single resin model, fine cast model, sell at 25 euros. I don't know why. <laughs> Or maybe other models, like for example the Magus from the, the new model from for the Gene Stealer cult, it's 20 euros. And all of these single miniatures here in the back it cost it cost me like five euros each. For these five girls, I have spent 20, so even less. And they are beautiful. They are beautiful. Also, look at the poses. The poses are very dynamic. And again, I'm not seeing any problem with these models. There are no holes, there are no damage, no miscasting. But hey, no problem at all. Not a single problem we're looking at. Well, now I'm now that I'm looking like this, maybe I don't see the problem. After when I'm going to build some of these models, I'm going to find maybe some miscasting or problem here and there, but for the first look that I'm having here, there are no problem at all. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, let's see now. See here. This is what I'm talking about. Bendy rifles. This rifle are a little bendy here. Oh, they also do some accessories here. A knife. A little knife here. Also, what is this thing? Oh, hair. It's a ponytail. One of these girls is gonna have a ponytail. Nice. But, okay, we'll see here. This rifle is really bendy here at the point. But I'm not con I'm not very concerned about this because, well, this is resin. You know that resin is going to have some bendy parts. Even Forge Ward does this. Even Forge Ward have this problem with resin. I had a lot of bad experiences with Forge Ward. And even if the big guys can handle these problems, well, <laughs> I'm not surprised that the smaller company have to deal with it too. But anyway, these are the model. I'm not going to unbox all of them here right now. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to build them. I'm going to build some of these models, like five models, four to five models, just to see how they look when they are all built up. And after that, I'm going to do a little comparison with the standard Imperial Guard that we have in the Astro Militarum. With, uh, I'm going to make a scale comparison because nothing turns me off than having a 28 millimeter miniature that it isn't actually a 20, 28 millimeter miniatures like the Games Workshop one because I really wanted to use them in my army. So I'll just be back in a moment and you will see the final result. And I'm back. I've moved the camera a little bit so that you can see a little bit of a close up how the models look and all the details and so that I can explain you how the experience was to build them. So, how it was it? Well, it went great. These are all of the model that I've bought and it took me like five, literally five minutes to build them all up. I didn't found any problem. It went very good. The All of the pieces, they fit pretty, pretty well without any kind of problem, and I mean five minutes of cutting up the pieces, sanding it a little bit, and glue them together. That's all that it took, five minutes.
if I really have to find a problem with this model is these 10 girls right here on this side. These are uh, the female troopers and you can buy them in stock of five models. And the kit were composed of female body with legs, head and torso and five pair of arms with rifles. And I would have appreciated a little bit of an instruction in which they will tell me this pair of arm goes with these girls, and this pair of arm goes with the other girl. I, you have to guess it. But well, it, it took me like 20 seconds, just a little bit of a dry fitting and nothing more and you will find out. So, as you can see here, all of the models, they didn't have any kind of problem. I didn't found any air bubbles, any miscasting. Oh well, I found one, one air bubble in one mob model but nothing more and speaking about miscasting nothing at all nothing really nothing no problem i was really happy about this also as you can see now then they are all built up the poses are more dynamic they um, they look pretty 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 good maybe the only thing that i'm going to do is fill in some gaps but when I'm talking about gaps, I'm really talking like very, very, very tiny gaps. Like for example, you'll see this sergeant here. You see in her right arm that is holding this pistol. You'll see that here on her back, there is a little gap between the arm and the torso. But this is the worst case that I have found, speaking about gaps, or even the standard bearer here same problem with their, their right arms but it is not bad it's not even that bad if we are talking about bad <laughs> I mean really this is isn't a problem at all because well I'm going to use some Vallejo plastic putty and that will solve the problem or you can use liquid green stuff anything would do just ju this is really the worst problem that I found out and that's it. When speaking about the poses, I love the poses because there are different kind of poses. There are the very, very dynamic poses, like these two girls here. The, for example, this, this girl is leaning forward, maybe she's running or she starts running. This, this is a dynamic pose because maybe she stopped in the middle of a run. The, the, the pose of the rifle is a little bit weird, I will admit, but, well, we are in a battlefield. Strange poses and strange things will happen when you're just running through projectiles. So maybe she stopped and she maybe she's looking behind the barrier, maybe there's a wall right here and she's trying to look behind it. But you have more static pose, like this girl here, that she's just marching she's not running and i love this i really love this this is the weirdest pose that i have found this is the female cor corporal and well this is the weirdest pose that i have found above all of these models because she's i don't know if she's sitting she's jumping back she i, I don't know it's it's a little bit weird. Also, the rifle is a little bit different because she have kind of a grenade launcher attached onto the rifle, or maybe it is just a torch. I don't know, I, I, I think it is more a grenade launcher. Also, they fit perfectly with Games Workshop bits. For example, this is the flamethrower. But you will see that this is the, the, the part for the flamethrower of the Astro Militarum. And it fit perfectly. Yes, I have to make a little bit of work because this isn't the original uh, two that goes with the flamethrower. And you, you see that it fits perfectly. So speaking about scale comparison, well, no problem with scale. That was one of the things that mostly concerned me. I will see here this beautifully painted, and I'm sarcastic here. <laughs> <laughs> Imperial Guardsman and you will see that there are no scale differences well yeah she's a woman and she's meant to be tinier than a man but f what I'm talking about yeah basically yeah a lot of model are in 28 millimeters 
like Game Workshop. Game Workshop does 28 millimeters, and also Brothers Vini does 28 millimeters. But the difference is that the Game Workshop is a heroic scale 28 millimeter. That that means that you see that they are the men here. The men's are very very strong, very bulkier. They have more muscle masses. The normal is not like a standard human being. I'm insane. So that concerned me because there are differences between 28 mm scale and heroic scale and 28 mm real scale. But you can see here there are no problem at all. We need any models. And this was one of my primary concern. Even if we look at female models made by GW, this is a female Tanit first and only, this is an old pewter model. Even in this case, the female models are perfectly, perfectly scaled. You see, there are no difference. Also, let's take maybe let's take this girl here that kind of look alike her with the ponytail here. You see, the faces are the same, are the same size. Also, the arms, the rifles. It's all the same size without problem. So you don't have to worry about scale comparison because nothing is worse for me than seeing a model that isn't the right scale so and you will notice that in like a moment for the wrong reason a model need to be need to pop out because it is a good model not because the scale is, is different now excuse me this is not yet a finished model let's com make a comparison with Serena Rain here she's not finished yet I have to do a little bit of a layering and edge lighting but just for the sake of the of the comparison oops with these female commissar that brothers vini does you'll see that again no problem at all with scale comparison couldn't be more happier than that also well <laughs> now this is only a prime space marine but yeah the the Space Marine, they they are gigantic against this model. But it meant to be like this because, well, Space Marine are bigger, women are basically most of the time tinier than men in their standard size. Since a Space Marine is big than a normal man, well, this has to be right. Again, I'm happy with this. So now I'm going to show you all of the models and will explain you a little bit of a thing because before I told you that I believe that they are from Russia and I'm going to explain you why well Brother Vini they have their own main site which is brothersvini.com and no problem with that you can buy the, the all of these models from there uh, you can pay with PayPal no problem at all and in the info of that site is the status that they are from Russia. But after looking at their main Facebook page, I found out that there are a lot of customers that complain about the time for, for their package to arrive. And we are talking about two to three months! <laughs> and that scared the hell out of me, because I want the model as soon as I can. So, after looking around a little bit, I found out that they have an Etsy account. And for those of you who don't know what Etsy is, Etsy is basically an eBay, but not for used stuff. On Etsy, you can sell the things that you manufacture. Uh, for example, the most, the, the most common product on Etsy are like uh, eye ring, necklace, keychains, dresses, clothes, all of these things that you can do by yourself and then you can sell it. It is not a flea market, basically. It is, it's not like eBay. You can sell you stuff. And I found they have an account on there. And the strange thing is that on the, in their Etsy account, they state they, they are from Slovakia, which <laughs> it's strange. I mean, well, it could be that they didn't update their site which is possible but also on Etsy the prices for their models 
are lower than in their main site. We're talking about one, one to five euros, which I think that in dollars will translate to one to six to seven dollars. And I'm perfectly okay with that. I mean, I'm not going to complain on saving some money. <laughs> I'm not going to. The strange thing is that Etsy take a percentage of, of the money you gain by selling your stuff. But again, no problem with that. I'm not going to complain. There is a little drawback here, which is that they don't have the entire range of model in their Etsy account. Which is sad. Well, I was lucky because these are all the model that I wanted to buy and I found them all on Etsy. So I was lucky, but you could maybe lucky too. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to leave down in the description both uh, the link for their site, brothersvini.com, and also their Etsy accounts. You can you can choose which, whichever you like. This is, of course, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not going to stress that because, well, <laughs> I don't have that many subscribers. And this is just for fun, just for a reviewing, just because I like this model, I want to share it with you. And so, yeah, that's it. I didn't have any problem. It took them like a week to ship the model and another week to have them in my mail. So, what can I say? I'm happy. I can't wait to paint these girls. I can't wait to play with these girls. Uh, this is the only thing that makes me really sad because I cannot use this girl in a game workshop store. Because it is a game workshop store. They hate third party models. If I'm going to bring these girls in a game workshop store, I, the store owner will not be happy. So I think that the owner will kill me and hang my corpse outside at the game workshop insignia and use me as an example because they really hate third party models. But, but well, I'm, I can't say much about that because, well, it is their policies, their stores, and they can do whatever they want. So, anyway. Let me know what you think about these models. Let me know if you have already purchased something from Brothers Vini or after you've seen this video, you are going to. Uh, let me know in the comments what are your opinion, if these models uh, look good to you. Let me know. I always open to have some friendly discussions and some exchange of opinion. As again, I'm Corey. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.